The losses have been hard, and there will, uh, without a doubt, be more to come. And we'll be remembering and grieving the toll of the pandemic for the rest of our lives. As I said before, I won't sugarcoat reality. The truth is, we still face the most severe economic conditions since the Great Depression of the 1930s. And it will take heroic effort and determination to get Alberta working and growing again. But with today's launch of Alberta's relaunch strategy, we can f finally begin to shift our focus from the pain and anxiety of the past few weeks and to start looking with modest hope and cautious confidence towards the future. Now, we're still months from anything that will feel like the normal lives that we all took for granted just a few weeks back. But as we begin to look to a new future, I'd like to thank you for your strength and adaptability, which has allowed our province to respond so effectively. Today's announcement marks the start of a carefully controlled and staged approach to safely reopening Alberta's economy and society and getting Albertans back to work. The full relaunch strategy will allow for the gradual reopening of businesses, services, and recreational opportunities as they're able to reopen under new health guidelines. Each stage will be evaluated and sequenced to ensure public safety is protected while meeting the needs of people business, and businesses and to protect against potential future surges in transmission of COVID-19. As we begin to reopen, several safeguards will be in place to protect Albertans, and those safeguards include increasing our COVID-19 testing capacity, which continues to lead the world, robust and comprehensive contact tracing, aided by technology to quickly notify people who may have been exposed, support for those who have tested positive for COVID-19, to enable isolation and effectively to contain the spread, stronger border controls and airport screening, especially for international travelers, rules and guidance for the use of masks in crowded spaces, especially on, in areas like mass transit, for example, and maintaining strong protections for the most vulnerable, especially the elderly in long-term care facilities. We have a rapid response plan to deal with future local outbreaks of COVID-19, which was outlined by Dr. Hinshaw yesterday. We can expect to see future local outbreaks, but with more and faster testing in place, increased testing of close contacts, and better public awareness of health guidelines, we're in a position to identify those outbreaks and contain them before they spread and strain our healthcare system. Our plan also includes making testing even more widely available, including testing those in settings uh, that don't have, uh, those people who don't have symptoms, and providing temporary housing for isolation or other needed supports for anyone who's at risk. And in every stage of our relaunch, Albertans will need to continue practicing careful personal hygiene, like washing hands frequently. We'll still need to follow physical distancing requirements of about two meters, and we'll all need to stay home if we show symptoms of the virus, such as cough, fever, shortness of breath, runny nose, or sore throat. We anticipate that some businesses and facilities will be able to open as early as May 14th. That will be stage one, and this is what it lo will look like. Retail businesses like clothing, furniture, and bookstores will be able to reopen operating within new public health guidelines, addressing things like the number of customers and disinfecting protocols. Some personal services like hairstyling and barber shops will be able to reopen under strict health guidelines. More dental procedures, physiotherapy, chiropractic, optometry and similar services will also be able to open under these strict healthcare guidelines. New public health rules tailored to specific types of business will also mean that we can reopen museums and art galleries, uh, daycares with limits, restaurants, cafes, lounges and bars if they can maintain social distancing, such as public seating at 50% capacity, and some additional re outdoor recreation. Gatherings of more than 15 people will not be allowed for the time being, although we do expect that number to increase uh, above 15 over time, and visits, visits to patients at healthcare facilities 
will continue to be limited. Although I do note that uh, Dr. Hinshaw announced yesterday uh, some uh, clarification and, and uh, more common sense provisions with respect to visits to uh, the elderly at to long-term care facilities. This also means that events that involved close physical contact, including uh, art and culture festivals, major sporting events, and concerts will remain closed. Movie theaters, pools, recreation centers, arenas, spas, nightclubs, and gyms will remain closed for now. We'll also continue to recommend that all Albertans avoid non-essential travel and uh, that they work from home when they can. And to prevent the spread of the virus, we'll ask Albertans to use masks in specified crowded spaces that don't allow for physical distancing, as I said before, like on mass transit. And, and on that point, I can uh, inform Albertans that the government of Alberta has ordered tens of millions of non-surgical masks, and we are developing a system for their distribution to help people uh, to be able to use face coverings in crowded areas in the future. That program will be launched in a few weeks. If we continue to keep the virus under control in that stage one, we will eventually progress to stage two which will enable additional businesses and services to reopen and to resume operations with the two meter physical distancing requirement remaining in place with enhanced protection controls. This will include more scheduled surgeries, including backlog elimination. It will include personal services like uh, artificial tanning, aesthetics, cosmetic skin and body treatments, manicures, pedicures, waxing facial treatments, massage and reflexology. Restaurants, cafes, lounges, and bars will continue to operate at that phase two, but at reduced capacity. Some larger gatherings will be permitted in some situations with a number of people to be determined as we learn more about the levels of risk for different activities. Movie theaters will uh, be able to open with restrictions, and summer camps will open again with restrictions. Visitors to patients at healthcare facilities will continue to be limited for obvious reasons. And nightclubs, gyms, pools, rec centers, and arenas will remain closed during stage two. Arts and culture festivals, concerts, attendance at major sporting events, and other mass gatherings will not be permitted in the second stage. And as in the first stage, we will continue recommending against non-essential travel. Stage three will uh, ease restrictions even more. When we get there, we'll see, for example, reopening all businesses and services, obviously with some uh, prudent public health restrictions, permitting larger gatherings with the number of people to be determined in the future. Arts and culture festivals, concert and major sporting events will be permitted, but with restrictions. Nightclubs, gyms, pools, rec centers and arenas will reopen at that stage with some restrictions and resuming industry conferences uh, as well will be permitted uh, with restrictions, although physical distancing restrictions will be maintained in all circumstances, but non-essential travel can no longer, will no longer, pardon me, be discouraged at that point. I'm pleased to announce that we will immediately take action to lift the following restrictions. First of all, Alberta Health Services will resume some scheduled uh, non-urgent surgeries as soon as Monday, May the 4th. Secondly, dental and other health providers will also be allowed to resume services starting Monday, May the 4th, as long as they follow COVID uh, guidelines um, uh, uh, that are um, proposed by their professional colleges. Thirdly, Alberta's online campground reservation system will open for bookings on May 14th, and campsites will be uh, gradually made available, although spaces will be limited to allow for appropriate distancing. Large group camping, shared cooking areas, and programming will continue to be closed for the foreseeable future. Vehicle access will be once again allowed in some of our provincial parks as early as this weekend, and some boat launches will also be opened this Friday, tomorrow. Private and municipal parks can also open as long as appropriate physical distancing restrictions are in place. Golf courses will be allowed to open as early as this weekend, weather and conditions permitting. However, clubhouses and pro shops will remain closed until uh, stage one, when other retail stores are able to open. I would remind outdoor enthusiasts that while there are no off-highway vehicle restrictions currently in place, we ask people to be responsible 
and will be monitoring closely should the risk for wildfires increase. For our relaunch strategy to succeed, Albertans must be confident in their ability to go out and visit these businesses and services safely. We'll all need to be comfortable going into stores and visiting restaurants, and workers need to be comfortable going to work. So I want Albertans to know that our public health officials are constantly reviewing and improving our public health guidelines to keep us safe as we begin to resume in economic and personal social activities. You can expect to see changes and clarifications to this plan as it unfolds. So it is not set in stone. It's going to be a uh, plan that develops over time based on how well we're doing to combat the virus. We can see the measures we put in place are working. The vast majority of Albertans have demonstrated a tremendous level of both personal and civic responsibility in the face of something that we've never experienced before. I'm confident that we'll all move through the stages of this relaunch strategy with the same sense of unity and resilience that we've shown from the start of the pandemic. So I'd like to conclude by recalling that in my address uh, three weeks ago, I reflected on how a buffalo herd together uh, during a fierce prairie storm, and they go into it head on until it passes, a metaphor to illustrate how Albertans were dealing with the pandemic. Today, our situation has changed, and the threat has changed. Now our main focus must be on protecting the most vulnerable. Once again, the buffalo, that iconic symbol of life on the prairie for Indigenous people for millennia, provides a perfect metaphor for us. When stalked by wolves seeking to prey on the weak and injured, the buffalo again herd together to protect their own from the threat. Let the spirit and example of the sturdy prairie buffalo uh, serve as our challenge and as our inspiration. 